What's up guys, it's Matt Rod here, and I got a quick tip for you to show you how to expand your vocals or your beat, whichever one you'd like, um, in a quick, nice, fast fashion. All right, let's get right to the video. All right guys, let's get right to it. I'm back in here, and I'm in my DAW Ableton. You can do whichever DAW, you can use whichever DAW you like, whichever is your main DAW. Um, and I'm gonna start out here with this little sample uh, that I'm just gonna use for uh, the for this song and for this purpose only. All right, so there you go. That's a little eight bar loop. Basically what we're gonna do is just use that for this sample here today. And what we're gonna create is we're gonna create a kind of like you, something you can use for intros, you can use this on beats, you can use this for vocals. It creates, it, it, we're gonna go from something that sounds compressed or uh, in a tunnel to outside and open. You can use it for a lot of things. So let's get right to it. All right, so the first thing, you have your sample, your eight bar sample, you're gonna wanna loop this in one track, however you wanna loop it. I'm gonna do it for eight, 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 four times. Um, that is, uh, I can't do math, 30, 32, I don't know, man, yeah, that's 32, I'm ridiculous, yep, anyways, and then you're going to duplicate that track, and you're going to uh, have that duplicated like that, and you're going to take out this piece, the first eight bars from the first one, right, I already have my track uh, set up the way I need it for this, uh, for this song, with the one of, for this uh, video, for the, with the one effect that I need, so I'm just going to drag that over there so I can save myself some time. For you, you this effect may be called, in, in Ableton, it's called the telephone vocal. In other DAWs, it may be called something else. Uh, I do not know. But what it is, is basically just cutting off the low end and cutting off the high end to make it sound like it's in a tunnel. And you can do this on vocals by focusing on the 1K frequency. As you can see right here, I'll, I'll open this up for you. And then... You can, you can focus it around the 1K frequency for vocals and cut off the rest from uh, 500 hertz and down and cut off uh, a head from 3K hertz. And this varies on what you're trying to use. You can be, if it's an instrument for a bass or something, you're gonna be uh, focusing more on like the, the lower frequency area. But this just for this purpose of this video, we're gonna be focusing on the higher, the 1K frequency. So basically that's, that's the effect and you want that on this track, on the bottom track here, so that it plays first for eight bars, and then both are gonna play at the same time. But to make this sound a little more interesting, we're gonna pan one track a little to the left, and the other track a little bit to the right. That way, it doesn't sound like super mono, and it doesn't you know, sound like, it, it just sounds better, it has more depth. <clears throat> so let's hear what that sounds like, and boom. There you go, you get the gist. It opened up there. You can mess with this however you like. You can change it. You can, and if you add drums and drops, it's a really good place to put a drop. It helps for your drops. Hopefully this video helped. If it wasn't in depth enough, leave a comment below me and I can answer any questions you guys have. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this content. Thank you, I'll be putting out some more very soon. Thanks.